It was the fighter that defied expectations, a machine that could launch from virtually anywhere, warships, hidden bases, and forward operating positions, a jet that rewrote the rules of aerial warfare and cemented its place in military history. This is the Hawker Harrier. Developed in the 1960s by British aerospace engineers, the Harrier was more than just another fighter jet. It was the world's first operational vertical and short takeoff and landing VSTOL ground attack aircraft designed to fight in conditions where conventional aircraft could not. It brought a new dimension to air power. Introduced on April 1st, 1969, the Harrier was unlike anything the world had seen before. It did not require a long, paved runway. It did not need complex ground infrastructure. It could take off and land vertically, making it one of the most flexible combat aircraft ever built. Its dimensions reflected its compact but powerful design. The Harrier stood 11 feet 11 inches tall with a length of 46 feet 10 inches. Its wingspan measured 25 feet 5 inches, extending to 29 feet 8 inches with ferry tips attached. It was built for agility with an empty weight of 13,535 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 25,200 pounds enabling it to carry heavy payloads despite its size. At its heart was a revolutionary power plant, the Rolls-Royce Pegasus 103 Vectored Thrust High Bypass Turbofan Engine. This engine delivered 21,500 pounds of thrust made possible with water injection technology. It allowed the Harrier to hover, take off vertically, and transition seamlessly into forward flight. With a maximum speed of 731 miles per hour, it could outrun most threats at low altitude. In a dive, it could reach speeds of Mach 1.3. Its combat range varied depending on the mission profile, up to 360 nautical miles in a high-low-high attack configuration carrying 4,400 pounds of ordnance and 200 nautical miles in a low, low attack run. But with additional fuel tanks, its ferry range extended to an impressive 1,850 nautical miles. And with aerial refueling, it could push beyond 3,000 nautical miles. The Harrier had the endurance to stay in the fight it could sustain a combat air patrol for 90 minutes at a distance of 100 nautical miles from base. With in-flight refueling, it could remain airborne for more than seven hours. And when speed was critical, it could climb to 40,000 feet in just two minutes and 23 seconds, even from a vertical takeoff. Its flight capabilities pushed the limits of physics. With a service ceiling of 51,200 feet, the Harrier could operate at extreme altitudes while engaging in dynamic maneuvers. Its structural integrity allowed it to endure forces up to plus 7.8 Gs and as low as negative 4.2 Gs, giving it unmatched survivability in high-stress dogfights. For 46 years, the Harrier dominated the battlefield. It saw action in conflicts across the world, proving its value in close air support, reconnaissance, and naval defense. From the Falklands War to Iraq and Afghanistan, it became a symbol of adaptability and strength. But even the greatest machines face limitations. The Harrier's innovative VTOL system, though groundbreaking, was mechanically complex. Maintenance was costly. As warfare evolved, so did the demand for more advanced aircraft. The arrival of the Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II, equipped with stealth, 
superior avionics, and greater versatility signaled the end of the Harrier's era. Yet not all nations have retired the Harrier just yet. The Italian Navy, once an operator of 15 Harriers, will phase them out by 2025 in favor of the F-35B. The United States Marine Corps remains the largest operator, with 87 aircraft still in service. Their fleet includes 12 Tave 8B training models, 34 night attack variants, and 74 radar-equipped AV-8Bs. The USMC plans to keep the Harrier operational until 2029. And the final operator, the Spanish Navy, will hold on to its 11 AV-8B Harriers until 2030, making Spain the last to retire this legendary aircraft. Its time is running out. Soon, the Harrier will no longer take to the skies, but its legacy will never fade. It was more than a jet. It was an engineering marvel, a fighter that changed the face of aerial combat, a machine that defied gravity and expectations alike. The Hawker Harrier. The jet that rewrote the rules of war and left an indelible mark on aviation history.